Hello everyone and welcome to Reports Part 3. In this video you'll learn how to align and drag design elements in your report, customize font, and add page numbers and footers. The purpose of the last video was to teach you how to create a basic undesigned report. Today we will talk about the customization functions which can organize your data further and make your report look professional and clean. Once again, let's revisit Joe. In the last video, Joe printed out a basic report for his coworker Julie. Now, Joe's boss is interested in the report. Joe doesn't want to turn in a simple list report, so he's going to use some of the design tools in the report builder to turn his list into a document he'd be proud to show to his boss. After he's created the report and turned it in, he and his boss can have a conversation about the data in the report. All right, here we are in the Mint Web Assistant. We're gonna head over to Reports and open the report from last time. All right, let's head over to the Design function. Here we will see the report that we made last time. We've got a title, an image, some headings, and some data in the details. The first part that we're gonna look at for designing a report is the actual page that the report is on. So we can change the page orientation to landscape, which will make it longer. We can change the page size for printing purposes, we can play with the margins, and we can even change the background color. All right, the first section we're going to look at is the title section. Here we have our title. We're going to drag it to the other side of the grid so that we can center it in the middle. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to first horizontally align it to the center and then we're going to change the font size and the font type. So let's see how that looks. Here we go. To make it stand out a little bit, let's go over to the element section and take a rectangle and drag it over. We can center it on top of the title, make it transparent, and then we've got a little border for it. Now let's say you want to have a little context in this report. So you want someone who's looking at it to pick it up and immediately know what they're reading about. So to do that, we can add a subtitle. Let's drag a label over from the elements section. We will drag and align it just like we did the title. Let's make it a 14 so it'll stand out. And then we will label it. All right, resource, birthdays, where location equals Antarctica. There's that. All right, now we got a decent looking title section. The next section will be the column section where we have our headings. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag them around to make them look a little more evenly spaced. I'm just doing this by eye. There are a couple different ways that you can align whatever you're putting in these boxes and I will show you some of those options. All right, now here they are aligned. So for, then we're gonna shift and select each of them so that we can edit them all at once. So what we're gonna do is change the font, align them to the center, and then see how that looks. All right. Here we go, we've got our subtitle, title, headings. Now if we want the headings to stand out even more, we can come back here, and like we did with the rectangle for the title, we can create a border. Here's another way that you can create a border down in style. You can click top, right, bottom, and left to make a box, but I'm just gonna click bottom so that it will give the effect of the headlines being underlined, like so. Alright, the next section is the data section where I will show you another way that you can align your elements. So we're going to command select all of these and then we're going to right click Oops. there we go. We're going to align them vertically to the top and then that little date of birth just jumps back in with his buddies. Then we're going to go ahead and align them with the headings above. 
We'll select them all again so we can edit them at once. Line in the center. All right, let's see how this looks. Starting to resemble a real report now. Another customization tool you can use is adding and taking away space. For example, if I think the subtitle is a little close to the headings, I can go back in here to design, drag down this line, and I'll have added a little space between them. I can also take space away. So if I drag this line up, now there's less space between each of the data entries. Lastly, I'm going to show you guys how to add a current date and how to add a page at the bottom. So first thing we're going to do is the current date. We'll drag it over from Tools in the Elements section. I'm going to put it on the very edge of the margins. We'll go down here and change the font and we'll align it to the right. That looks pretty good, but it does have the time, which I don't want on there. So we're going to go up here to Pattern. And just like with we date of birth, like we did in the second video, we will select month, day, and year. And then that takes right the time. All right, next is the page number. So we're going to go down here to outline, go to the bottom, and then right click on page footer and make it visible. This adds another section to your report. Then you can drag the page number over here, just like we did with the current date. I'm going to center it the same way. Now we've got a little one at the bottom of the page. We can also do page X of Y, which will tell you this is page one of one. I'll align it the same way. And there we go, page one of one. That'll be it for this video. All you need to do is press OK or apply to save this report within Mint or choose the Save As function. This has been Reports Part 3. Thanks for watching.